Hello, fellow travellers. Welcome to another exhilarating trip. Today, we travel through wonderful Indonesia, where we will be exploring the top 10 places to visit. Stick with us till the end as we count down our top 10. Number 10. Jakarta Today, we start our voyage in the capital of Indonesia, the beautiful Jakarta. This bustling city is home to over 10 million people, with diverse ethnic backgrounds from all over Indonesia, making it a harmonious melting pot of cultures. It is one of those cities that lends itself perfectly to roaming and exploring. The metropolis is divided into five districts, Jakarta Pusat, Jakarta Utara, Jakarta Barat, Jakarta Timur and Jakarta Selatan. Each of them has great things to offer, and if you have enough time on your hands, you could decide to check them all out. If you are looking for fancy shopping malls and iconic landmarks, such as the Merdeka Palace, Jakarta Pusat is the place for you. One highlight we found in South Jakarta is visiting the Setu Babakan, where you can learn more about Betawi culture, which is the native ethnic group of the city. There is, of course, no shortage of culinary gems and trending coffee shops in town, and without a doubt, we'd be trying to stop at as many vendors as possible. Some that stand out from the crowd are Seafood Ayu, Rotu Baka Adi, and topping the charts is Gulai Tikungan. If you still have some space left, try visiting Kebon Siri for mind-blowing nasi goreng or wateg wamo. Wartegs are places that sell ready-to-eat foods at cheap rates, and Wamo is one of the most popular ones in Jakarta. With our bellies filled up, let's continue our trip. Number 9. Bali, Hotspots and Overtourism Now, our next stop might divide the crowd, as it has become one of the most popular tourist destinations, not just in Indonesia, but period. And although this popularity has drastically changed Bali over the last few years, there is no way that we could leave it off our list. Because, let's be honest, who is not dreaming of visiting the Island of Gods at some point? We want to start by taking you to some of the most popular places in town, because yes, they might be crowded, but it's honestly for good reason. Let's start with Kangu, filled with cool hipster brunch places and fabulous bars. Join the in-crowd of digital nomads for a beer at Old Mance or book a beach bed at the lawn. And don't forget about the surf scene down here. Kangu is home to some amazing breaks, such as the notable longboard wave at Batu Beach, aka the heart of Kangu. You can easily rent a board, but if you are new to surfing, we'd recommend you to book a class. From sandy beaches to lush green jungle, as we head to the next crowd-pleaser destination, Ubud. Ubud is home to beautiful temples, waterfalls, and a huge yoga scene. In the center of town, you'll find the Yoga Barn. People from all over the world come here to do yoga, and you can join one of the countless classes, meditations, and workshops, or book a detoxing treatment. Do, however, also invest time in learning about the traditional Balinese culture. The locals are kind-hearted and generous, and enjoy sharing their knowledge about the beautiful island. Number 8. Bali Hidden Gems, Brohan and Medewi We're not actually not quite leaving the island yet. Although there is so much more to Indonesia than just Bali, we can't overlook the fact that it is one of the most popular travel destinations in the world right now. So we looked at the most known places, but we want to dedicate this next stop to taking you off the trotted path and enjoying a side of Bali away from the crowds. Away from the hotspots, there are still so many villages that move at a different pace and that ooze that energy that Bali is so loved for. For instance, at the eastern tip of the island, you can find a string of coastal villages known as Ahmed. Dotted along the coast, there are only a handful of hotels and local warungs. Close to Ubud, you can find Bawahan, a rural community located just north of the Yoga Mecca, where you can run through the rice fields and smell the frangipani and incense in the air. You can sleep at the banyan tree. They have months researching the best ways to preserve the untouched environment and uplift the local community. Then there is Sidaman, a tiny town in the valley of Mount Agong, which resembles an Ubud of 20 years ago. Number 7. Toraja Land Expand your mind. It is time to make our way to the central highlands of Indonesia's southern Sulawesi. Traveling through this region will have your camera roll filled up in no time, with its limestone peaks, lush rice fields, and bamboo-clad hills. 
Tana Toraja is home to the Toraja, a Christian and animist community with a remarkable culture that has remained largely and astonishingly untainted by Western influence. It is a fascinating place to visit. Tarajans are well known for their gigantic peak-roofed mansions called Tong Konan. However, they are even more famous for their spectacular funeral rites and learning about their customs and rituals. After a person passes away, the body is often kept for several years until the funeral ceremony takes place, which can last for several days. Then they will be buried in a small cave or a hollow tree. Although booking a local guide could be a bit pricey, it is most definitely worth it as they will teach you about the culture and customs. It offers a unique perspective on death and for many visitors this is a mind-expanding experience. Most bigger funerals are held during the dry season from July to August, but you'll find funerals taking place year-round. Number 6. Bandung – Time to Cool Down if you are looking for a refreshing escape, literally, the cool atmosphere of Bandung is perfect for your next escapade. A lot of locals from Jakarta take a short city break here when things get too hectic in the city and relaxation is needed. Though it might be calm and refreshing, there is still plenty to do and it offers something for everyone. Want to immerse yourself in culture and learn more about the local music and dance? Visit Sang Anklung Ujo. You can watch the orchestra of Ang Klung here, the local traditional bamboo instrument performed by youngsters, as well as a performance of Sundanese traditional dance. Looking for a bit of a thrill? There is plenty of hiking to do, as you can climb the hills of Tebing Keratin, the Royal Cliff, the Stone Garden Sitatar, or Urad Highland Lembag. It is one of those all-in-one destinations that blends beautiful surroundings, relaxation and activity seamlessly. Number 5. Bukit Lawang – Meet the Gentle Orangutan Bukit Lawang marks our halfway point. This tiny village is nestled on the eastern side of Gunung Lusa National Park, about 90 kilometers northwest of Medan, the capital city of North Sumatra. What brings us here, you're asking? Well, in 1973, a rehabilitation center for orangutans was founded here, and it is one of those places you'll have to visit in this lifetime if you can. The center was created to preserve the orangutan population as their numbers are decreasing due to hunting and deforestation. Spotting this gentle orange creature in the wild is a major drawcard, of course, but the village is actually an inspiring stop itself. The ecotourism provides income for the local families and has created many jobs for them, making it a worthy charity to support. It has been built in a sustainable way that isn't putting a strain on the surrounding environment. While you're at it, you might as well book a guided jungle trek through the Gunung Lusa National Park. Tigers and elephants roam freely, and you can spot the funny Thomas Leaf monkeys with their silly haircuts. Number 4. Raja Ampat Islands – Sensational Diving Indonesia is home to a plethora of beautiful islands, and the Raja Ampat Islands are a great example. Raja Ampat, which translates to Four Kings, consists of four major islands – Wagyo, Salawati, Misul and Batanta – along with thousands of smaller islands. The sandy beaches are pearly white and the turquoise of the lagoons looks like a filter is pasted on top. If you love the underwater world, Raja Ampat will be your heaven on earth. It is one of the best diving destinations in the world, and whether you've been diving forever or are considering trying it for the first time, you'll have an amazing time here. The waters are home to 75% of all known coral species and have a rich marine life to explore. Not so much of a water baby? Don't worry, there is plenty to do on shore too. Grab your binoculars and keep your eyes peeled for majestic eagles or beautiful Wilsons and Sandra Washes. If you brought your hiking boots, you could explore the mysterious age-old caves or trek up to the waterfalls. Number 3. Komodo National Park – Meet a Dragon We've made it to our top three, and wow, we really did save the best for last. Number 3 is situated in the Nusa Tenggara region of Indonesia, the Komodo National Park. This park is best known for its distinctive inhabitant, the Komodo Dragon. Spanning three primary islands, Komodo, Rinka and Padar, alongside numerous smaller islets, the park serves as a haven for these fascinating reptiles, reminiscent of ancient dinosaurs. These creatures, the largest living lizards in the world, can grow up to an impressive three meters in length. 
Roaming freely across the islands, visitors typically explore together with experienced guides to ensure safe encounters and sightings. But it's not just about the dragons here. The park is all about protecting the whole ecosystem, both on land and in the sea. You'll find unique critters like Rinka rats, fruit bats, wild horses, and even some pretty dangerous snakes, along with other wildlife. Now, as cool as the land animals are, the underwater scene is mind-blowing. The park is a treasure trove for marine life, part of what's known as the Coral Triangle. There are over 250 types of coral, tons of sea sponges, and some seriously unusual bony fish. It's a whole other world down there. Number 2. Sumba – Unspoiled Alternative to Bali Picture Bali about 30 to 40 years ago. Wild horses, roads that see more buffaloes than cars, mythical surf breaks, palm-fringed beaches, and limestone hills. A few islands east of Bali, this is exactly what you'll find on the western edge of the Savu Sea. Sumba is about twice the size of Bali, but has a sixth of the population. The island has a magical vibration, perhaps enforced by the indigenous Marapu belief system that the locals live by. They worship the spirits of their ancestors, and you'll find shamanic priests everywhere. The majority of guests stay in the island's west, where it's a 90-minute journey along the calm, dusty roads from Tambolaka Airport to destinations like Nihi Sumba in the south and Cap Caroso to the west. From the limestone stacks of Bawana in the southwest to the semi-lagoon of Mandarak in the far west and the Peru estuary, where fishermen's canoes assemble in clear seas, with magical beaches all around here. Locals rent rubber rings and float serenely in the Indian Ocean in the Wikuri Lagoon near Mandarak, the tiered Lapopu Waterfall, the Waikelo Sawa Falls and Caves, and the Waimarang Swimming Hole, which resembles Mexican sea notes, are also natural wonders along the journey. Traditional kampong settlements can be found all across the island. Number 1. Bawa, Ilang Private Island Sadly, we have reached the final destination, but the sheer beauty of this place softens the blow. Let us take you to Bawa, an island located in the Anamba archipelago, just an 80-minute flight away from Batam. The local economy mainly revolves around fishing and farming, with the nearest inhabited islands a couple of hours away by boat. Bawa is the largest among the six islands in this small archipelago. What makes this place so special? It hosts 36 villas, several restaurants and bars, walking trails through the primary forest, a well-maintained lawn tennis court, two spas and a boutique. Deciding where to have a picnic or which lagoon to snorkel will be pretty much the most challenging choices of the day. Do you want an even more exclusive experience? No problem. Even more secluded is Elang Island, where you'll find only five one-bedroom villas. Fikas, Lychee, Yuka, Sikad, Setigi, and a two-bedroom longhouse, all constructed using palm thatching. This marine reserve comprises four other uninhabited islands located so close together that you can swim between them. Guests can dine at various places such as the clubhouse, the beach house on Bawa, in villa, or at any location, be it a sandbank or a deserted beach. On Bawa itself, there's the Grouper, a relaxed poolside bar, or further up the hill, the Jules Verne offers sundowners. Dining options include treetops in the canopy or the boathouse on the beach. Moreover, guests can opt for private dining experiences across the islands. Numerous Indonesian islands have faced issues due to overdevelopment, palm oil plantations, plastic waste, and water pollution. This is why the conservation efforts at Bawa are particularly significant. The hotel has made conservation a priority, evident in a significant field of floating solar panels, among the largest arrays in Southeast Asia. And with that, we're concluding this amazing escapade. If you're hungry for more travel thrills, show some love with a like, subscribe and bell ring. See you soon for more exciting expeditions.